Hello, Tim from Fairplay now on the 29th of August 2023. So it was the bank holiday weekend and bank holiday Monday yesterday. And if you're in the part of the world that celebrates that, hope you had a great one. We had a pretty decent one. Uh, we we're out in the back garden there with some friends having a nice little bank holiday afternoon barbecue so that was pretty sweet and really enjoyable so another remarkable two remarkable things that happened yesterday as well is first of all this channel fair play now on youtube finally hit the magical 10,000 subscriber uh, milestone uh, absolutely amazing especially when I remember the days when uh, the subscriber count was 10 <laughs> uh, never mind 10,000 and as if that wasn't enough I've got kind of a backup channel on another video hosting platform called Rumble which is where I tend to put all of the stuff it's on my website all of the stuff that I can't really put on here uh, I put that on to that platform and that at, at the very same time yesterday hit the 1000 subscriber mark which is as far as I'm concerned is equally amazing because normally the amount of viewers and reach that you get on that platform because it's a much smaller platform isn't nearly as much as what you get with youtube so getting a thousand uh subscribers on there is as good as ten thousand on on here but that's not to uh, any way cheapen the kind of 10k mark that my channel is now up to here and well is it a source of satisfaction for me uh, i would be lying wouldn't i if i kind of said no there's no ego no pride involved you know this is just a totally selfless thing that i'm doing uh, of course you know I, I have got that satisfaction uh, that pride um it's not an easy thing to do to make well over a thousand videos over over the course of three years because this channel is almost exactly three years old and it's not an easy thing to grow a channel up to 10,000 um, especially one which is uh, you know talks about controversial things which I'm sure kind of at times gets a channel like this held back as well um, I'd have probably got up to the 10k uh, sort of mark a long time ago if, if I was just talking about cars or something or, or whatever but um, yeah I am very very pleased but the biggest source of satisfaction for me is just the reach that you get um, yeah it's a privilege and an honor as well to be in a situation where I can reach and help and offer my support to that number of people and you know it's just such a fantastic thing to do and I've had people coming up to me in the street on various events I've been on uh, as well as just in the comments below here uh, how much I've helped people with this channel and I keep saying this but that's very much a two-way street um, one of the reasons why I set this channel up in the first place was uh, you know kind of to vent frustrations that uh, uh, I was feeling and continue to feel with all of the, the various sort of weird stuff going on and you know I vent my frustration here sometimes and I do get a lot of support uh, fantastic support from sort of uh, people like you and it's really really deeply appreciated I can't thank you enough for the uh, support you've given me over these sort of uh, last months and years it's just absolutely amazing and I'm just so pleased to be a part of this community that we've got where we, we can share things uh, we can sort of go through this together rather than those horrible lonely days 
uh, that we all went through, didn't we? Sort of back in 2020, 2021, where we just sort of felt so alone, like we were the only ones who kind of were sort of wondering why on earth is this going on when everybody else seemed to be sort of thinking it was perfectly okay. So I'm sure you know where I'm coming from on that. So, yeah, very pleased and a very big thank you. And I mentioned uh, when I was yeah, talking to John in, the, in that interview the other day uh, that I was always a bit of a drifter, never quite knew my purpose on the earth, what I was here for. Uh, yes, I kind of um, settled down into property maintenance and electrical work as an electrician, uh, sort of general property maintenance worker. Um, but I wouldn't say that was my calling. I wouldn't say that's what I was put on this planet to do. And I never really knew, as I say, what that purpose was. But uh, one thing I am grateful for is that I seem to have found that purpose now. And it's making videos like this, uh, whether it's me speaking to camera or whether it's me recording other people speaking, you know, with the interviews and uh, the talks that I go along and film and all of that and I absolutely love it absolutely love it you know I love going along uh, talking to people videoing stuff coming back doing the editing doing the uploading even though it can be a pain in the backside sometimes when you know sort of it takes forever to upload or uh, there's issues with the editing software or whatever but I absolutely love it whereas pretty much every other kind of work I've ever done um it's just been uh, well you know I can stick it you know I can do it but I wouldn't say um I love it but this is obviously my calling what I was put on this planet to do and I'm just very grateful that there's people out there who appreciate the work I do enough and put enough trust in me to join me, uh, to subscribe to these channels and to support me. So uh, once again, a very, very big thank you. Now, as I said in yesterday's video, when I was kind of explaining what I'm about to new subscribers, uh, one of the things I like to do is recommend things as and when, when I come across really great things I'm happy to recommend and there's one such thing coming up this weekend um, Friday Saturday and Sunday I can't remember the exact dates I'll, I'll put them down here but it's basically the first Friday Saturday Sunday in September something called the Uprise and Shine event which uh, there's a lovely lady called Karen Dodd who puts on these events and she started doing them in 2020 I believe it was and she sort of has just carried on with them and I went to the first one which I think was the third one that she put on uh, in September of 2021 so nearly two years ago and I found that fantastic and then I've been to further two already this year uh, February and May and yeah I'll be going along to this one coming up Karen's now got me videoing uh, the events and the speakers and yeah so that we've got a record of you know the the events and what's been said by the speakers and coming up this weekend are some very good speakers, actually. Uh, Richard Vobes is going to be there. David Clues from UNN uh, is going to be there. Uh, there's a guy called Andy Thomas, who's a fascinating guy to listen to. He'll be speaking. Uh, I believe Mark Devlin is going to be there putting on a talk as well. He's always absolutely fantastic and incredible to listen to and a whole host of others there's loads and loads of speakers going on over the three days and then there's all sorts of peripheral things going on uh, as well like workshops and stalls and um, and it's just spending a whole weekend uh, either a day because you can go just for a day which is cheaper on the tickets for you or you can go for the whole weekend uh, but you can spend time 
in the presence of like-minded people, which is always very refreshing and uh, uh, invigorating, I find. And it's hosted at Hope Sussex, the home ed uh, kind of hub that I've talked about on many a video. Uh, it's at their place down there in East Sussex. You'll get full details of exactly where it is when you get your tickets. But it's worth just going to see what they're they're about alone, you know, especially if you're a parent interested in uh, home education because it's sort of a central hub of support that they offer there. And it's a brilliant setup. They've got a lovely cafe where they do, uh, you know, homegrown and home cooked uh, produce, at, you know, meals at nice sort of decent, reasonable prices. And the whole vibe there is just incredible. It's you have to you have to go just to experience it, really. But anyway, uh, you can probably tell the way I'm banging on that I can't recommend the Uprise and Shine events highly enough. So it's well worth going. And if you're interested in checking it out, I'll leave uh, details of where you can learn more where you can get tickets in the uh, description box below. I'll put a, a little link in there for you. And if you decide to go, I will see you there. I'm going to be there pretty much the whole weekend, probably from about mid-Friday afternoon onwards, sat whole Saturday, whole of Sunday. So if you're going to go, I'll see you there. And until then, Tim from Fair Play Now, thanks for watching.